In this video, we're going to talk about the exterior angle inequality theorem. So what exactly is that? What's the definition behind it? The main idea behind the exterior angle inequality theorem is that the exterior angle is greater than any one of the remote interior angles. So let's draw a picture. And let's say this is angle 1, 2, 3, and 4. So angle 4 is the exterior angle. It's outside of the triangle. Angles 1, 2, and 3 are interior angles because they exist inside of the triangle. But 1 and 2 specifically are known as remote interior angles. Now the exterior angle inequality theorem states that angle 4 is greater than angle 1 or 2. So we could say that the measure of angle 4 is greater than the measure of angle 1 or we could say that the measure of angle 4 is greater than the measure of angle 2. Now that's the exterior angle inequality theorem. The exterior angle theorem, which I'm going to call EAT, that theorem states that the exterior angle, which is angle 4, is the sum of the remote interior angles, which is the measure of angle 1 and 2. So that's the exterior angle theorem. But the exterior angle inequality theorem states that the exterior angle, angle 4, is going to be greater than angle 1 or angle 2, any one of the remote interior angles. And it makes sense, because if angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2, angle 4 has to be greater than angle 1 and angle 2 separately. So let's work on a problem where we're going to use a two-column proof that uses the exterior angle inequality theorem. So let's, I need one more line. Let's call this angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. So your task is to prove that the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle 3. Go ahead and try that. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work on this problem. So we don't have any given statements. But let's focus on angles 1 and 2. What do you notice? Well, if we draw a picture, if we separate it into, if we just focus on this triangle, notice that angle 1 is the exterior angle and angle 2 is the interior angle. So therefore, we can say that angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle 2. And the reason for this is the exterior angle inequality theorem. Now, we can also say that angle 2 is greater than angle 3. So let me draw a different picture. So if we just focus on the triangle on the left, we have a picture that looks like this. So this is angle 2, this is angle 3. Notice for this picture, angle 2 is the exterior angle, angle 3 is the remote interior angle. So therefore, we could say that the measure of angle 2 is greater than the measure of angle 3. And for the same reason, the exterior inequality angle theorem, or exterior angle inequality theorem. That's what I meant to say. And so if angle 1 is greater than angle 2, and if angle 2 is greater than angle 3, we can therefore make the conclusion that angle 1 must be greater than angle 3. And we could use the property of inequalities. So if 1 is greater than 2, and if 2 is greater than 3, then 1 has to be greater than 3. And so that's how you can use the exterior angle inequality theorem in a two-column proof.